Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. This video is going to address the COPPA law and how it's going to affect my channel. I know everybody out there has probably seen a gazillion different videos addressing this, but each one of us are handling a little bit differently for our particular channels and I just wanted to let you know what is going to be changing on my channel. Um, I am not going anywhere. I am just making some subtle changes to my videos and you may have noticed that within the past few videos that I put up on the channel. I am just incorporating the terminology of adult coloring whether it states a coloring book, whether it states color and chat, it will always be preceded with the word adult. Um, both in my titles, in my descriptions, in my thumbnails, everywhere. Um, I am not, however, going to be changing my thumbnails to just black and white. Um, and not be colorful any longer. I know some others are doing that because that is one of the vague things that YouTube told us, along with other vague information regarding what is thought of as content geared towards children and what is content geared towards adults. Now I watched, I have been extensively researching this because it has the whole YouTube community up in arms. Um, Want to warn you right now, this video may be, uh, rather than my normal G rating, it may be a little PG-13. <laughs> um, because YouTube really has me pissed off. I was ticked before, but after finding out some bombshell information last night, uh, yeah, I'm even more pissed off at YouTube. Um, this whole thing is YouTube's fault. Last year, they, I mean, all along, YouTube knew that they were violating COPPA law. They knew it. It just happened to be last year they were caught. And uh, yeah, they got fined big time. They got fined $170 million to settle the lawsuit from COPPA. The FTC is what wrote the COPPA law. And uh, yeah, this uh, bombshell information that I found out could change everything. Um, and I'm going to go into all of that a little later. Uh, there are two sides to all of this. There is YouTube side and what they're incorporating into the YouTube channels and us creators. And then there is the FTC and the COPPA side of things. Now COPPA was a law, as many other people have talked about. It was a law that was created in 1998. And it was to protect children under the age of 13. Uh, you know, the, the internet was just up and running. It was kind of new. And uh, it was discovered that children's information, their personal information was being collected. So the COPPA law was really good when it was initially written. Of course, the internet was new, like I said, and the internet has really, as we know, been evolving and growing leaps and bounds since then. So, COPPA updated, the FTC updated their COPPA laws. The, as I said, it was created in 98, it became effective in 2000. It has since been updated in 20, 2011, mainly in 2013 was their biggie, and it was looked at again in 2015. Um, 
if you violate this COPPA law, you can be charged $42,530 per occurrence. So for us YouTubers, yes, that would mean per video. We, you know, with YouTube being fined, they're just passing it off to us. You know, this was totally their fault. They knew they were in the wrong. They did it anyhow. So what YouTube is doing to pass the buck onto us creators, they are now giving us two options. We have to indicate one of two things. Are our videos geared towards children or are they geared towards adults? It's black and white, kids or adults. There is no gray area for those of us that are creating videos that could be considered for children and or adults. And it's not just the coloring community. I think the majority of channels on YouTube fall into this category. FYI, I just put this picture out here so that you have something to look at while I am creating this video and uh, disclosing everything that I know. So, you can designate your channel or your videos either at the channel level, meaning all your videos are going to be marked for kids, or you can just designate it via each individual video. Maybe you have some geared towards adults and then others that maybe um, are more geared towards children. If you mark a video that are geared towards children, it has huge consequences. There is no monetization for those videos. There will no longer be any comments on your videos, which to me and many of us cooler to color tubers, if not all of us, is the number one thing. Yeah, losing the money is one thing, but losing our comments, that's our whole interaction with you guys. And these channels and these videos that we create, I can't tell you the amount of comments that I get and the number of emails that I get stating how much my videos, in particular my color and chats, help them with their anxiety, with their depression, and with their physical ailments. And that makes me feel so good. But many of us creators also do it for ourselves. We have some of those same issues. So, no comments, no likes, no live chats and donations. So you can't chat during a live stream. You can't save into playlists. You can't put it to your watch later. No notifications, so you would not have any idea when we put up new videos. I have no idea how you would even find that out. You'd have to click on each particular channel of those YouTubers that you like to watch and see if they have anything new out there. That would be the only way of finding it out. Plus, we would have no community tab to put general information and messages out there for you guys. So if it's a kid's video, it basically you have nothing. You will have nothing. You're going to be out there just basically talking yourself. I mean, yeah, people can watch it, but you're not going to be able to interact with us any longer. So, yeah. Um, now, if we have it marked for adults and they they being YouTube initially, later down the line as of the first of the year, FTC, they deem that it is in fact for kids, that's when you can get fined that over 40 million, or 40 million, God, I hope not, over $40,000 per video. So starting on December 10th, the YouTube bots, the uh, programs that YouTube wrote and created are going to start going through billions and billions of videos that are out on YouTube as of right now. And every day, every minute 
there are hundreds of thousands of videos being put out there um, in addition to the billions that are already out there so YouTube is going to be flagging those videos that it deems are for kids even though we say that they are for adults and again COPPA the the what they have out there is going to be looking at the videos as of January 1st of 2020. So many of us are signing a petition that is going out. Um, it has hundreds of thousands of signatures already as of the last time that I seen it. And it's probably doubled in that by now. Many of us are also sending comments and messages to the FTC directly talking about how unfair this is to all of us YouTube creators. Um, but let's get into some of the reasons why, there's two main reasons why I don't think that we as YouTube creators are going to have as much to worry about as what was initially thought what what all the panic is on YouTube right now number one the FTC if they determine as of January 1st that you have a video out there on YouTube that you deem is for adults only and the FTC says uh, no that really contains content geared towards children they can't just automatically slap you with a fine of over forty thousand dollars per video they are going to have to file a lawsuit against each one of us for each violation and they're going to have to take us to court now is this worth it for the ftc to file a lawsuit spend all that money on court costs for us channels that have some are only a few hundred subscribers some are a few thousand subscribers you know we're not the the biggies that have like a million subscribers now maybe they would i don't know but that is one thing to consider the second biggest most important thing that i found out and this is a bombshell video that came out last night and this is what really really has me pissed off even more so than what I was initially at YouTube and yes I am just shaking I'm mad <laughs> there is a social media lawyer out on YouTube who has been making a lot of videos regarding all this COPPA crap and FTC and everything that's going on he published a video last night out on YouTube that I watched and it blew me away it has like I said some bombshell information which he thoroughly looked into he got a secret phone call and this individual did not want to identify himself he was an inside source that was close to YouTube management so he was way up there um, and obviously knew what he was talking about and what he was about to disclose to Ian. I am going to be linking Ian Corzine. Is it Corzine or Corzine? He is the uh, social media lawyer I'm talking about. And I'm going to link his video down below in my description so you can actually watch his specific video. I am going to be... Uh, giving you information some of it is word for word what he indicated and some of it i'll be paraphrasing but again that's why i want to link his video down below in my description first off he says that youtube is hiding things from us regarding kappa there is so much content on youtube that appeals to both children and adults which definitely includes our coloring channels however youtube chose to create a system that only addresses two categories of content either it is children's content 
or it is adults content. There is no other option for videos that are geared towards children and adults. Now, this was not the original intent of the FTC when it adopted the COPPA law. I uh, am going to show you, I don't know if some of you are coloring or doing crafts while you're listening to all this because you're certainly not having a whole lot to look at. <laughs> um, he referred back to FTC's website in the frequently asked questions area and this is what this inside source told Ian to go and look at. So Ian being the lawyer that he is, he thoroughly researched again the FTC website. And, <clears throat> excuse me, back in 2015, FTC warned everyone that there was a general audience exception to COPPA. Now, what this amended rule, oh no, let me show you this. This is from the Federal Trade Commission website itself under the Frequently Asked Questions. And this particular section is Section E, which is titled Photos, Videos, and Audio Recordings. Number four, it states, does the amended rule, the question that was posed to the FTC was, does the amended rule prohibit adults such as parents, grandparents, teachers, or coaches from uploading photos of children? So this question directly was referencing photos, but listen to this answer. COPPA only covers information collected online from children. It does not cover information collected from adults that may pertain to children. Thus, COPPA is not triggered by an adult uploading photos of children or a general audience site or in, and this is the most important part, the non-child directed portion of a mixed audience website, which would include YouTube. YouTube chose to ignore this and only gave us the option of for kids, for adults, not the mixed audience option where their videos geared towards children and adults. Now it's not only coloring videos, it would be gaming channels, it would be toys more geared towards maybe adults. It's, it's a ton of different channels that this is all affecting. <clears throat> so when Ian seen that, and again, I am going to be taking some wording direct from his website. He stated four years ago, the FTC recognized that there was a middle ground audience. It wasn't just children's content or adults content. It was content that appealed to both children and adults. So this was back in the 2015 amendment to the laws. They then realized that it was too vague, that they needed to include something for the mixed mixed audience, the, the content across the internet, including YouTube, that could appeal to both kids and adults. YouTube failed to address this general audience in their video marketing system. They said that to comply with COPPA, we had to indicate whether our videos applied to or was geared towards either adults or kids. And this is just not the case. YouTube, or FTC has no intent to sue YouTube creators over content that we are creating for a general audience. And YouTube knew this the entire time about this general audience exception to COPPA and they are hiding it from us creators. 
Now this mixed audience exception to COPPA, as Ian points out in his video, is in Title 16 of the Code of Regulations, Section 312.2. So it is specifically in COPPA law talking about this mixed audience exception. So the ending question is, why didn't YouTube add this third option? Why did they just give us the option of kids content or adults content? You know, the, the option for either kids or adults is just too simplistic, too broad. There is too much that falls into a gray area they just don't take into consideration that content can be geared towards both. And yet COPPA law clearly recognizes this mixed audience. So why didn't they disclose this to us and give us this third option? Because it would decrease their corporate profits. If they gave us this third option, if they gave us all three options, YouTube and Google would lose money. And of course, they don't want to do that, right? So this mysterious caller that called Ian, and I believe he called Ian because, again, he's the social media lawyer out on YouTube who has been making all of these videos talking about all of this. So evidently, this higher up, in YouTube management figured that Ian would be the person to contact about this. This individual wanted to get this information out, but he was afraid to do so, do so because of retribution from YouTube. And he specifically stated to Ian, you don't know the power of YouTube. So to kind of protect his you know what he did not want to state this himself but he wants to get this information out there and that's why i am making this video to just try to calm down youtube now exactly what is in fact going to happen as of the first i guess still remains to be seen. But in light of this new information, I don't think that the FTC wants to go out and sue all of us over our videos that are geared towards both children and adults. And like I said, there are so many millions and millions of videos out there that fall into this category. And it, yeah, it just, it burns my butt because we have we have one of my favorite color tubers, Zoe Archer, who quit her channel the other day. Completely quit. We have others like Anne from A Colorful Life who has deleted all of her videos and completely starting over. We have Kate's Coloring Haven who is threatening to do the same. And those are just the three that I know about. Um, so yeah, we've, we've been, us color tubers have been making some big time changes. And in light of all of this information, maybe we don't have to. Maybe we don't. So again, I am just making subtle changes to my channel. And I started those be even before I even found out about this information. Um, and in light of this, I definitely am not going to be making drastic changes to my channel. And yeah, maybe ultimately it is going to turn around and bite me big time. I don't know. I am hoping not. But if this is clearly written by the FTC in the COPPA law, when it updated its law in 2015, because again, the internet is changing constantly. There was so much content that they realized were geared for both kids and adults. And that's why they changed the law. But yet YouTube didn't want us to know about that. So in Ian's uh, video, in the description, he has some information about contacting YouTube 
directly about all of this. Um, so again, I am going to link his video in my description. Watch his video in its entirety. It will explain all of this much better <laughs> than what I have. Like I said, I took some wording from his video word for word, what he stated. I wrote it all out <laughs> and some I paraphrased. Um, but yeah, his, his video is much, much better than mine. I just wanted to get this out here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I think I covered everything here in my notes <laughs> that I all wrote out. I had three pages of notes here. Um, including what I typed up specifically from the FTC, from their law. So, I don't know. Does this make any of you feel better? I know a lot of this is geared towards us creators. Yes. But it is, and that's why all of us creators are making these videos, because it isn't only affecting us creators. It is affecting all of our subscribers, too. You know, like I said, these channels, we make these videos for you people. And, and again, we know that it does help those of you who have depression, who have anxiety, so many physical ailments where you're in so much pain. And we're told that our videos help you guys so much. But some of us creators have those same issues. And these videos help us too. And uh, yeah, that, that's why it, it's just so sad what's, what's happening in the YouTube community, community and it has me, yeah. <laughs> like I said, I, I just, I get into tears thinking about it. It has me so upset because some of the color tuber channels out there, I know the creators have their own issues with anxiety and depression and all the worrying about this is, ah, I guess it is just expanding is not the word I'm looking for, compounding the problems that we have with our anxiety, with our depression, with physical ailments and pain. Um, and so I hope by getting this information out that it may not necessarily calm down the whole situation because there are still so many unanswered questions. It's going to be really interesting to see what, if any, of my videos are going to be flagged after YouTube bots start up their motion on December 10th. I'm going to be really curious. Initially, what I was going to do is if they were flagged, I was going to delete them. Now I'm not so sure. I am again taking a wait and see approach. December 10th is a few weeks away and I think between now and then there could possibly be changes or more information out there about everything that I've talked about today. I am definitely hoping so. And there were a lot of views on Ian's video. And so I am assuming there is going to be more videos out there and more talk about this bombshell information, about what YouTube is holding from us. And I don't think that it's been interpreted incorrectly. I mean, obviously, this person from upper management from YouTube knows about it. He knows that YouTube knows about it and didn't want to disclose it to us. So obviously, it must be correct. It must have some impact somehow that they didn't want us to know about. So I am going by that right now. Again, I'm assuming there's going to be further information, probably out on the internet. I'm assuming probably more YouTube videos uh talking about all this so i'm going to be stay tuned to youtube to looking and researching more and more like i have been over the past 
I don't know, probably over a week now. And that's why I've waited so long to put my video up and throw my hat in the ring because I know you have been inundated with videos talking about COPPA and how it's affecting their channel. So yeah, I wanted to get this video out. I wasn't going to do it today. I was going to do it maybe next week to see what else was coming out. But in light of watching Kate's Coloring Haven live stream last night, and I didn't even make it all the way through it because I was crying with her. She, during that live stream, was crying so hard she couldn't continue. And her, I believe, fiancé had to take over the live stream for her for a while. And, uh, yeah, she's talking about deleting all her videos, too. So I left a comment for her to please don't delete at this time don't delete all the rest of your video she already deleted a whole bunch of them but um in light of that and watching her live stream i wanted to make this video today i have a number of other videos to make yet but instead of doing them right away i am going to end this video and i am going to get it in my editor and make my thumbnails make my description link his video and get this uploaded to youtube as soon as i possibly can so that it gets into your hands as soon as i can so i hope this enlightens you a little bit i don't know if it's going to change other color tubers minds or have them change anything that they have planned on doing with their channel or possibly already may have done with their channel. But I thank you for watching this video, for hopefully listening to it through to the end. Um, I apologize for the rant, but like I said, I'm just, I'm extremely upset as you can tell. And I don't usually get too upset in my videos. I'm pretty usually easygoing. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to leave this at here or at here. I'm going to leave this here. I am going to go to my computer now and I am going to get this uploaded as soon as possible. And I will see you when I uh, create some more of my videos. I am hoping to get up a color and chat to you uh, tonight. So, okay. Again, thank you for watching and we'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.